how Viceroy Bali started. Me on the back of a motorbike, riding through the countryside with my brother, got off, walked through the rice paddies and found this beautiful, beautiful location. I loved Bali, I loved the people, and probably that's what made me stay. I'm a little bit of a jack of all trades. Been in fashion, been in farming, and when I was uh, very young, my first job was as a hotel receptionist. How did I con my family into joining the business? We have my two brothers involved, Anthony's involved as the GM. I took him out of his careers in IT, which he's been a great help here for me. My daughter is Director of Sales and Marketing. So I said, oh, come on, come on, help me. And so that we've all come together as a family and we are a close family, so this helps. The land where we are on, it used to be part of the rice fields for the kingdom of Peliatan, which is one of the kingdoms in Ubud area. So how to associate without calling it kingdom. The next closest thing I could find would be Viceroy. Still a connection to royalty, but as governor. I was fortunate when I first came here to meet a friend. His grandfather was the last Viceroy of Indonesia. When he heard that I had called the Hotel Viceroy, he showed me a lot of the history of Indonesia. And he was able to give me so much information and photographs and things like that. And I thought, wow, this is so nice to bring this back into Bali before it gets lost, really. Uh, we wanted the guests to experience the Balinese culture, but in a luxurious way. Uh, the rooms are beautifully fitted with private pools, beautiful views and an elegant touch of the Balinese traditional carvings. There's a big focus on the food and the wines that we have at the hotel. Essentially, we've incorporated everything we enjoy when we travel into the experience here. I try to bring back all the carvings, all the things that they've been doing for centuries. And there are different villages for different things, believe it or not. One will be a stone carving, another one will be wood carving. I look and I see, oh, that'll look good there, that'll look good there, throughout the hotel. Jumping from village to village to find the best is half the fun, actually. The benefit of being a family hotel and having the staff with us, uh, we can work together as a large family. Uh, a lot of the comments from our guests are about the staff, how they make the experience wonderful for them. The family actually is very welcoming to the guests. Mr. Otto, the owner, every morning he comes to the reception for signing the welcome letter. It's a really good ambience to work here with the owner. We feel sometimes he's not my boss, but he's like family already. It's word of mouth that's made us. One of my favorite things about being at the hotel is meeting guests from all over the world. Everybody, no matter where they come from, what their convictions of life are, they all come together as one group in one hotel and it's just beautiful to see. It's magic. There's no other way to explain it. There's magic. <laughs>